here they are given integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to a sin theta integral 0 to a square minus r square by a r dz dr d theta so here variables we have z r d theta we know that uh, generally you observe this is limit from 0 to pi by 2 is nothing but obviously this is limit for what theta only na limit for theta remaining you have a z and r r is a not a function of r so obviously this is a limit for z now it is a limit for r like this we have to find out the limits right now we have to solve the problem first you observe here they are given dz na? so first i am integrating with respect to z later i am integrating with respect to r and then with respect to theta this is the procedure okay so integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to a into sin theta now here we are integrating with respect to z while integrating with respect to z r is a constant only no? so treat as a constant only now r uh, z quotient what you have here r quotient is 1 so 1 into dz you can say no? so 1 integration with respect to z is z only now limits from 0 to a square minus r square by a into dr d theta now integral from 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to a into sin theta r into upper limit if you are substituted a square minus r square by a minus 0 into dr d theta so constant you can take outside then i will have 1 by a integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to a into sin theta if you multiply r inside then you will have r a square minus r cube into dr d theta now we have to integrate with respect to what r integrate with respect to r okay now 1 by a integral 0 to pi by 2 if you are integrated with respect to r a square is a constant only r integration is r square by 2 minus r cube integration is r power 4 by 4 limits from 0 to a into sin theta d theta okay now now 1 by a integral from 0 to pi by 2 this is a square by 2 now if you are substituted upper limit then i will have r square is nothing but a sin theta whole square that is a square sin square theta minus uh, here you have a sorry this is 2 and now a power 4 sin to the power of 4 theta by 4 upper limit is over minus lower limit 0 here also 0 only into d theta so now if i uh, this one i can simplify take a square by 2 outside then you will have a by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 this is a square into a square a power 4 by a is nothing but a cube sin square theta now minus here a power 4 by 4 you have a power 4 by 4 but a power uh, divided by a outside you have na? so a cube by 4 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power of 4 theta d theta from the values theorem uh, you can write this as a cube by 2 then this is here you have 2 na? so 1 by 2 1 by 2 is came now so pi by 2 even na? that is why pi by 2 we will write from the values theorem minus uh, this is over now a cube by 4 is the LCM in this case you will have 3 by 4 from 3 by 4 you can take 1 uh, 2 from 2 uh, remove 2 from numerator and denominator subtract 2 from numerator and denominator then you will have 1 by 2 1 by 2 is came now so you write in pi by 2 that's it now from this 2 what you can take common means a cube you can take common if i take an a cube is common then i will have pi by 8 this is pi by 8 minus here uh, 3 pi by 3 pi here you have you see what i have 3 pi by 4 4 4 4 into 4 into 4 16 4 sir uh, 64 64 so you can take a uh, 64 is lcm 64 is lcm then uh, a cube is a cube here you have 8 pi minus 3 pi 8 pi minus 3 pi is nothing but 5 pi so the answer is 5 pi a cube by 64 okay now is it clear for everyone thank you for watching this video